This tutorial will show how to go about adding a new taxon name to the Arctos taxon database. In this case, the name we want to add, Gibberulus albus, does not appear. We've done a search for it and it has not been found. So we want to create a new name. We click on create a new name. And in our case, we're coming uh, with the authority showing that it is an accepted name from the World Register of Marine Species. And you can use, of course, whatever is appropriate for the nature of your collection. We're going to simply copy that, um, or that's certainly preferable so that there are no typos, and we will paste it in. We will choose the taxon name type, which in this case is Linnaean, and click on Create Name. This will create the entire page, but as we can see, there's no classification data. One thing we could do is refresh and pull any global names that are out there. As you can see, this also indicates that it is found in worms. It's not found in a number of others, but it is also found in EOL and so forth. So by pulling this, you can see that we have several other classifications that come up for this. Another is to have the author in here in order to distinguish it from any similar name. And then also the taxon status. And in this case, it is accepted. And the Arctos term that we would use is valid. And lastly, we need definitely to always add the nomenclatural code, which is going to be ICZN. And then we save, click edits. And when we return to our page, we now have an Arctos classification if we are using Arctos as our source. If we are using worms via Arctos as our source, it's very easy to do that. Again, simply copying the API ID and then going back here and saying create classification. All we have to do is paste that in and we will put in that our source is worms via Arctos create the classification. And when we return, we will see now we have two local sources, local sources being the ones we can use for identifications. If we click on the worms via Arctos, refresh, and then click to reload, we now have under worms the entire classification, including the author, the preferred name, the taxon status, and so forth, without having to add those to the metadata. So those are the two various ways to do it. We could entirely build this classification uh, if we have something unique that doesn't have an external web service that we can clone.